Hi, I'm Mark Fosen and today I want to tell you something about the new range of hooks that uh, luckily Alan and Kevin allowed me to design. It's based on the old range that's very famous and known everywhere, but with the help of the new manufacturer and their facilities we were able to improve the old patterns and also add one or two very interesting new patterns to the range. Kevin and Alan gave me the green light to design a range of hooks the way that I wanted them to be. And this enabled me to get my heads together with a manufacturer that I knew before and uh, really use their facilities and my focus on sharpness uh, to come up with what I think is the best range of hooks out there. Using up-to-date technology, we were able to come up with a range of hooks that is A, lighter, B, much sharper, and C, up to 50% stronger for certain patterns. My company, Pinpoint, was always known for hand-sharpened hooks. In fact, I was the first one to came up with a machine to basically semi hand sharpened hooks in large numbers, which enabled me to supply a large quantity of hooks all over Europe, basically. Um, what I did with this range was a compromise to bring uh, a range of off-the-shelf hooks as close as possible to the sharpness of hand sharpened hooks. I'm pretty happy with the result that we ended up with. And if you give them a try, just give them a touch at a show or in your local tackle shop and you will see what I mean with that. For people that love the runaway wake, we have some very exciting news. We call it the gyro. It features the best hook for this purpose, the Fang X, combined with a unique swivel that is included into the eye, which results in a setup that's way stronger than if you attach a hook to a regular swivel. So previously, Nash used to have two white gape style hooks, the Feng Yuni and the Feng Gappa. We decided to basically bring them both together and combine them into one new pattern. The features of this hook are a short shank, white gape and a slightly beaked point. The claw will be recognized as a pattern of hook that has a quite extreme shape to it. As we used to work with a new manufacturer and their facilities and also their experience in creating different kinds of hooks for different kinds of fishing, basically they brought in an idea to change the white gape design over completely and add an edge to the band. This purpose for this edge is that when you play a fish, most of the pressure will sit in the band of a hook. That's normal and goes for every pattern of hooks. But with this edge down there, the flesh of the fish's mouth gets compressed. And by compressing that flesh there, it creates a better hook hold, less movement, therefore less damage to a fish's mouth. And in the end, you will lose less fish. By changing the supplier, their new materials and also the way that they produce the hooks. The new hooks will be stronger than the old ones and uh, leaves us up with a very new design that might change the way that many people would think about using a white cave hook uh, in their bottom bait fishing. The slightly beak point makes it less susceptible for damage, for example, on gravel or even on retrieve. Um, so it should be your first choice when you're fishing really gravelly spots. You will find that a beak point always gives, gives you quite an, an edge in uh, keeping your hook staying sharp longer, therefore your trap being set better. The floater claw is a lighter version of the claw itself. It's still strong and you can play a big fish with it, but on the other hand, it's suitable for a fine presentation. Another addition to the Nash hook range is a long shank twister. Long shanks hooks are known for their flipping and turning capabilities and many big fish anglers love them. It was designed with bottom bait fishing in mind and this is really where it plays out all its strength. 
It combines the features of the beloved Funk Twister with a way longer shank, which in my eyes result in an exciting new hook pattern. What we did to the old range was to give it a slight makeover. We didn't change too much, just added the new thinner and more aggressive hook points to each pattern. We slightly increased the wire gauge to even add more strength and make them more suitable for some continental fishing or really big fish angling. We also made the eyes of all the hooks slightly, slightly bigger. For example, was we made the eye of a size 6 shot twister just big enough that you could pass a 25 pound fluorocarbon three times through the eye, which makes it way easier to tie up shot rigs or even D rigs for your bottom bait fishing. The Fang X really needs no introduction. So many people use it in their fishing for so many different rigs. Uh, it's famous to be used on a runny rig. It's just absolutely a classic and versatile pattern. The chot twister, as the name suggests, can be used for chot hooks, but also, of course, for hinge stiff rigs, uh, but also for stiff bottom bait rigs. The new claw is made for bottom bait rigs. I, for myself, prefer hooks with a wider gape, whether I'm fishing pop-ups or bottom baits. Again, it's a very versatile pattern that leaves any kind of rigs up to your imagination. The twister and the long shank twister can be used in many different ways. One that slips into my mind is a blowout rig or for example a very aggressive D-rig that I knew some friends of mine used with great success in the past. That's it for now, the new Nash Pinpoint Hook Range. I'm very excited and proud and can't wait for you to get your hands on them.